purpose and doesn't st stop anyone from Raptors, but let's just attack. Oh, oh. oh, oh my not god! Get in at all. The stone wall of MTP just takes down three immediately. It's just Trex and DPS alive. Trex will take one down. Luckily, it's the Rainer that's still alive. Self-sufficient Fragger. Lowen is going to take down DPS as well now. And as Trex picks up the spike, he's going to get hit by all angles from make contact with the OG team. So Vic turns around the corner. NRK is going to find the first what two the? kills before Destrian finds the trade. That's unexpected. And it means now that OG are going to have a more difficult time getting kill waiting patiently for the headshot. And he no will way. find two shots onto Trex. MTP are looking decisive in this bonus round. And... Well, here comes DPS from the back. He'll find the headshot onto Kilu. Looking for a second, but V-Boy's there with the Spectre to take him out. Destrian, it's all up to you in a 1v3, a 1v2 now. Gonna plant the spike. The wall does go down. Well, not an unfavorable position now from Destrian. Both players on the MTP side are coming from the front. He doesn't know that, though. He hears the drone, so he needs to hide to not get tagged. The other player, now he knows the position as well. Nice. And he peeks alone. Well, that is a round for Destron to win now. And oh, oh. he waves while the player was looking for the weapon. Could have taken advantage of that. But oh, the headshot onto Crate. He'll find the 4K to finish out the He's aware that there's a big gap on the right side of that smoke. Well, we'll see now as they push in. Killer is now actually caught in an unfavorable position, but he'll find the shot onto Trex before any damage can be done. Crate in the meantime has found Destrian. That's a spike down inside the smoke, and it's a favorable... Oh, Crate, he'll find another one. They're just looking to close this one out quickly. Crate, he's good for the third onto Ooh, DPS. Close. Oh, close shot onto the... Oh, Tvik, Jesus. He'll find the revenge onto Crate through the smoke. Lands a headshot onto Killu through the wall, but B-Boy, he'll finish it out. The trouble is, like, making sure they're not getting tagged. Ooh. They're, they're getting all the lines of sight, but they're not. And now they're pushing on B again. Ooh, Thick nice. with a beautiful headshot and oh, two of yes. them with the last dagger. Yeah, and he's going to pick up the operator off that kill as well. That puts, well, I mean, it's a good position now for OG. They've got one more player alive. They've got... That spike down, they've got an operator and a blade storm. Oh available. my god. Vic will make full use of that with a third kill onto V-Boy. Looking for another one now. Crate coming in from behind. He's gonna try and shock Dark Destrian out of that position. Unko will take down Point with those knives, make use of them. I think they know his position though, the OG side, and they're just waiting for somebody to come through there. Trex is guarding this defense here, making sure nobody comes through. NRK will be taken down by the Hunter's Fury from DPS, and Trex takes out Crate over there in the flank. It's well, just three players left on the MTP side. Unko is going to be found by Kilo, but not before he finds a kill onto low. And he comes back around the corner, but Tzvik is massive with the operator. Trex comes through mid and will take out V-Boy for another great round for them. Watching mid, I think. Oh, Destrian will take out NRK there. That's going to put even more worries in the mind of NRK. Oh, look at a beautiful play. Going? Oh, that's beautiful. They're faking the plant there by putting the wall down. It's not going to fall MTP at this point because of the rest of the OG side, they're already moving in. There's only 13 seconds left, so they need to get it down, but DPS will be taken down by a stray bullet from L low in there. Uh, trying to throw a swarm grenade out, but Unko's there to take the kill. No trade because the Leer is perfect. Oh no, he'll find the kill anyway, and V-Boy, he gets his second. No time for the plant. Trying to make sure they don't even get the plant down, just like last round. Killo, they'll find a gap in the smoke to take down Zvik. And the lockdown will come out from the MTP side. Not before the spike gets planted, though. They're going to have to retreat from this Oi! one. But NRK, oh, waiting in the back. He's not going to find the kill onto DPS, so he'll it, get out for free. Falling asleep a wow. little bit, I guess. Oh, Destron's being caught out, and he's the only player being on side. They're you not defusing. Him, They're not defusing oh. because of the lineups right yeah. now. The one time, and actually, he's going to be very handy, coming oh. in handy. Kilo gets the kill on the... DPS. In the meantime, Trix went through boiler Trix. onto the side. Oh, that's beautiful. And Trix will finish it out as well. What a great play from OG. Yeah. Oh, and there you go. Killer, he'll find Vic through the wall. But he's going to be rezzed up quite nicely. Trix <laughs> what, what? takes down both of them. Somehow, I'm not sure if uses the ult, but Unko is there too. But uh, no one destroyed the sage wall, so oh. he's fine. Oh, Vic got tagged up there through the smoke, but... NRK, he backed up, and that meant that uh, Tvik was free to get that kill. Well, he'll be rezzed up. Back to a 5v5 now. Still not completely unfavorable for MTP. 
They're gonna have to move in now. Here comes the Hunter's Fury. Gonna try and find out any low players. That's one onto DPS, two onto DPS. That'll be the kill. Kill who finds Vic as well. Destrian holding down, takes out his imposter. Trex onto Lowen, and they're just coming round from the back. NRK takes down two. Unko trying to spray. They don't have the, the time. They don't have the time. Oh, shot guy isn't gonna quite land where they wanted it to, but Destrian will spray down NRK through the smoke. The wall comes up to try and stop any more bullets from coming through all the way there, and the Viper's pit is gonna be committed. As they go for this plant now. Hunter's Fury from DPS, he's looking for some revenge. He'll find one onto V-Boy. To Vic, he's sitting in this Viper's pit, waiting. DPS will find Crate. The imposter is down. To Vic, he's sitting right there. Look at that. Killu is trying to push through. So does Loan, but he'll be taken out for his troubles. And Trex, he'll finish it out with the Empress. I started using this well because it might be better than what I do myself. Well, seems to be working for OG. Trex will take out Crate, and that's not just the end of things. A lot of players are low now for MTP, not just the uh, flanker who's coming through here. His low and coming up mid, and the rest of the team will follow suit by going over to B. Now, Lowen can give a bit of information to his teammates here. He knows that people are coming. Oh, but he's going to get sprayed down with a little, little too long to go for those kills. And Trigger Discipline in the end will be his downfall, but the rest of the team, they're heading over towards B. They'll get this spike down, wall goes down, down goes the spike. A little bit of smoke to make sure nobody's going to push out that position, but Tavik, he's starting up this attack onto the spike. Waiting for the rest of his team to join him before he goes around this corner. MTP, they're not in a great position now. They need to be holding it down. There's V-Boy on the first one. It's a little better. Oh, and NRK has his back for the second, but DPS and Destrian, they're cleaning things up, and it's only NRK left. The player who got almost oh. killed at the start of the round. They'll find one onto DPS, but Destrian can help you, especially with the attacker's advantage. Pretty much evens out the teams. Well, NRK, he's going to start it up, but Unko and Destrian, they're big on defending this. They don't want to let anybody in, and the spray through the smoke will do a little more damage. They're saying, back up, we don't want you on this site. Lowen stuck in that corner from that snake bite. Crate trying to come to the rescue, but has to go around the other way. Now Destrian, Unko, and DPS, they're holding down this area. Destrian will find the first pick, and Trex coming in from behind. The Killjoy ain't oh going to do God. anything for you if she doesn't have her turret available. They're getting up. MTP, I think they're going to head back, possibly here. They're taking their time getting into A for sure. Trex wins the trade over in B, and DPS will find V-Boy over on A as well. They can't find anything on either side. DPS, who's getting swarmed down by the Swarm Grenade, does find one more kill before Killoot can pick it up. But it's only two players left on the MTP side, and Unko's there to find the headshot. All up to Crate, who has been hitting a lot of heads in the last few rounds. Let's see, can he hit four of them? Moves around to the side. I don't think anybody knows he's that close. He has to go for this peak here, and he's against a couple players. Tavik will miss his first. Does he have enough cash? He might. He might. If he plays, like, Ooh. small shoes. But Tavik opens it up with a kill on NR NRK. And NRK double shock does as well, putting put on the orb. Thanks to either oh. Jonas, most likely. Oh, DPS is just going to go massive with the Hunter's Fury. Find his copy there. Trex will take out. DPS is going to be first contact, but DPS will take down Lowen. Doesn't know the no next player is right oh, behind him. Yeah, the you barrel. see the barrel there, V-Boy. But DPS is ready for it, and he'll take out V-Boy. It's a flawless round from OG. Using anything on the kitchen. Fig opens it up with a first blood, and Kilo gets the trade. Now that opens up a lot of space in mid, and that's when NRK is going to go with the huge flank. But in the meantime, Destion on the backside tries to battle it out you with the players on B. Oh. That's the, that's the lurk, yeah. man. So big. Didn't see NRK earlier on in the match, so or in the round, so not going to find a kill there. But Unko, he's got his operator out. He'll take one kill. And now one player is stuck where the spike is, it looks like. It's going to be difficult to get out of that location. Well, NRK, he's still up there, and they know he's in kitchen, but that Hunt of Fury might go massive. It's not actually going to hit a single shot. V-Boy is there. The zoning capability of it works out just fine. Trex, he has his Empress available. His teammate is on the other side of the map waiting to come through main, and there's not much time left on the spike. Trex will look for the first pick, but it's not going to happen. B-Boy gaining them. So, if they want to win the next six rounds, you need to be very cautious about your economy. Very, very, very cautious. And right now, they have to play with one player on small shields because they lost that one player. 
uh, killing one guy on defense. Watching that angle is coming down through tube here. Destrian looking for the first pick, but he's not going to find it. And uh, calls out that there's one player. Over the oh team. my and comes god! In from behind and the spray through the heads is just going to take them both out. Now DPS, he's trying to take the map back into its own clutches. Cray is going to take down Unko in his own Viper's pit. Which means that there's only two players left. It's Trex to take the first spray down and he'll find two, but Killu's there for the trade. It's just DPS, but Killu turns around the corner with his knife out. And now it's a 1v1. Interesting. Sober sober. Yeah, interesting that our arena didn't press dismiss or even ult before. Because that would have been oh, insane. Waiting for them. They're going to have to go for this retake, but they have found one pick and that is... Absolutely Ooh, essential. Oh, v boy will take out to Vic though. And we're gonna get revenge for his teammate. Oh my god, what a combo! A lot of damage and the stun is going to keep her well in the corner. Great fault line. Well, we do love a good area of effect damage and uh, stun kill. That is a great combo. And MTP, they're posted up all around the site. Crate will find one, but all the rest of his teammates, they're being, they clear everything. And pink grenade goes out on two rafters, but it's not going to find anybody. But that pink grenade in return will do a lot of damage. And Tavik will finish it off with a headshot. In they push, but DPS is there to spray him down. Lowen will find the trade. The sexual comes out to push him away. And Tavik is spraying through the smoke. Finds one kill with it. Not quite the second, but he's getting close to him. But Unko comes in from behind. And the pincer maneuver will come up. Make contact over towards heaven. In our cape. He's at ramps. Trex, he gets stunned up by the fault line. The spray is not going to find him at all. But the pink grenade down over towards screens might do a little bit of damage to Vic. He's stuck on sight. He has to turn around. Oh my god. Narrowly avoiding death, but then okay. He finds the kill. V-Boy, he's got Trex down while he's pulling out the satchel. Satchel's on him, by the way. It was stuck to his body. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Ouch. Well, DPS will use the uh, res on Destrian. It's a 3v4 now. Putting odds back to... Relatively even now, D DPS trying to come through. One headshot onto Craft, that'll put him down to low HP and he'll finish it out. It's a 3v3 at this point. NRK, he'll find the trade. And Killer, he's spraying down, but he's not going to find Unko. It's just Unko alive in a 1v2 situation. We've seen him do it before. Can he do it again? Not finding the first headshot onto NRK. And V-Boy, he'll come in from the other side. Pedestrian there, but... Leading up this charge. No, Destrian will turn back around, find the kill, and he's going to be able to pick up that Vandal as well. Craft gets hit up by that pink grenade. And it's four players now defending the spike, and it's a decent position for them. Trex is stunned up. But the rest of his team are there to back him up. Out comes the rolling thunder. Up into heaven. It's going to hit two players. Destrian's still got it, though. No, okay, well, he's dead. Tvik, he comes in big from CT, finding one pick. Tvik, he's going massive, but low, and he's the bastion of the site, and V-Boy will come to his rescue. Control so much space. They use two ultimates to convert a a plant for a run against a oh against a low buy what did it say but fig just makes them look it makes it look so easy he gains a vandal as well for the team there's a rolling thunder for the opponents and now mtp again oh, with the so deficit big. what a huge play by unko oh no v-boy kills his own teammate with the pink grenade as well got stunned up and it just dropped at his feet ouch did, did he try to throw it when he was stunned by the roller? And they're the team on the eco round this time. V-Boy looking for the trap wire there. DPS, he has the sights available, but he knows he can't go for the spray down just yet. He'll find two, though. Down to low HP. And he can slow field out Killu. Oh, and it's a good wall to keep himself alive. That was very close. Trex jumps on top of Killu and Killu <laughs> isn't expecting the satchel over his head. Destrian will take out NRK and stuck inside the aftershock. Crate takes out one, but Unko will finish it off to keep them from pushing forward. And it means that, oh, they fake the uh, orb, which makes MTP come all the way around the corner. They're not expecting Unko in this corner. He'll find one pick and the aftershock is going to keep them away Beautiful from TP. getting the trade. Oh, the aftershock might tag him. Nope, not quite. He gets away in time. Well done. Good play from OG to get that first pick. Super aggressive play by OG, we can break it down later on, but let's focus on Kilo, who is getting a oh, huge no. flank from Heaven B, he knows about the second play, gets the second no. kill, and that rolling thunder just cements those two dead people, but there's still two players from OG on Heaven B, that's the rest, DPS comes back to help his teammate, teammates, and V-Boy is planning, it's a 3 versus 3 retake, not a lot of utility left, they're jumping down from Heaven, taking control, and what's the crossfire like?
Oh, DPS, he finds one trade. Killer, he's trying to find another, but he doesn't expect Vic in that corner. So that's another one. Now, two low players on OG. Turning to take one shot on each. And okay, he'll find the first, and he's moving in. Vic is sticking the plant. Oh, no! Almost. Vic didn't have his oh. weapon equipped! To, to defuse and still take a fight. Oh, that's a beautiful paranoia, though. Unko is making up for his mistake earlier with that kill. Now MTP. Well, they're going to have to tentatively move back in. Unko trying to check if anybody's coming forward, and he does find, I think, all three of those there. He's seen them, so... Round OG move. Try and keep them away. Craft, great, sorry, he'll take out one. Destrian with the trade, and Killu takes out DPS. One-way smoke isn't going to be good for much when your whole team is down. Now it's a 3v3. Ah, oh, Tvik is ready for this uh, luck, though. And then RK, as he turns around the corner, he'll find the headshot. In the meantime, Crate does get the spike down in time. Heal onto Unko. DPS, first contact. He's going to be taken out by Loan. 4v4. I'm not sure why Unko has his knife out there, but Destrian is going to be taken down as well. Trex coming through, trying to make stuff happen. But Killu, he's good for the third. Tvik. He'll find Loan, looking for his second, but B-Boy finds the hit he needs. Towards A, not taking the bait there to Vic, he's sat back waiting for somebody to push him. He's got his camera in the same place as before, Trex. Might make oh, he's contact here. he's looking for it. Oh no, looks away at the wrong time. Oh, it's a good paranoia and it'll send B-Boy into the corner. Won't be able to use that to full effect, but kill comes through anyway. But DPS is massive with two and he brings it back down to a 2v2. It's Loan coming through heaven, Crate coming through B main. Crate will find the first pick, and it's just Tvik by himself. Been heard there, they know he's up in heaven. Let's see how much he can do with the Phantom here. They don't know he's there, he'll find the first pick, and it's a 1v1. Crate has the Rolling Thunder available, he does hit it. Oh! It was if opponents, uh, you know, have to be faked, but they're pushing it. This way. Tvik is going first. Out the boom bot. Yeah. He is heading up first. They know there's a raise there now. Oh, that fault line will actually hit a lot of them there. Luckily, not going to get hit by the paint grenades and Destrian. He'll take out V-Boy. You're not going to do that one to us. They did it earlier. Very oh, well, aggressive ah, push for CT. What a push! Oh, and they're going to make the most of it, but Crate is there for a kill. Onko will get him his way onto site. Get up onto rafters as well. Try and keep away the players. I think they heard that teleport, though. Maybe not. Oh, he's ready for it. NRK, he will kill him. Takes no shots either. So it means OG are on lower HP. Lowen's going to move in through elbow. Oh, and that's a lot of concussion and a lot of gravity wells. Oh, looks the wrong way there. No, Lowen is going to take one down, two down, and he'll finish out the round. And Ouch. But I really like the way that it goes out. NRK is right in front of it. Oh, no. oh what? The Pulled timing! The well at the wrong time. He gets the kill either way. It doesn't matter, but he's going to be fully flashed up. And the rest of his team trying to come to his rescue. He'll get a spray down onto four. He's looking for the ace, but... Ah, oh, Lowen's there to pick it up for him. Kill. So, yeah. could have been a little bit more aggressive, but it is what it is. Now it's 7-7, seven, seven, and NTP keeps herself in the game. Oh, Given ouch. for free, Tvik goes loud on the rope and stays there. Voiboy takes... VB Boy, sorry. Takes advantage of that very easily. I'm really confused here. What was the, the thought process from Tvik? Mm. He ate a few bullets, that's for sure. Healthy, nutritious breakfast. Mm. Oh no, actually, they're spread across the map. There's only four of them left. Loan, he'll go for the first pick, but... Maybe uh, overestimated his ability to find that one, and DPS will punish him for it. MTP, they're also spread across the map. One in ropes here. Let's see. Unko, he's heading towards it. Oh, that's a good fault line, and Unko's going to take advantage of it. The fault line comes back from Crate as well, and he's going to trap them in there. That'll do a little bit of damage to both of them. It's not quite enough to get the kills, but it was a nice attempt. And... MTP, they head back over towards A, try and help each other out, Crate flashes down Destrian and will find the headshots with the Spectre. I don't think they see them coming in from behind as well, Killer will just jump over the wall, not find the pick, but Crate is there for it on the other side, and NRK, he finds one as well, Trexy's coming through for the first here, but there's only 14 seconds left, he has to get the spike down, he knows this, and the rest of the team there, hunting him down, he will get it down in time. Well, let's see, he has to fight his way out, and Killer he'll just spray him down through the air, take advantage of that, but... 
Well, I'll keep him back at the very least, though, and he's pushed all the way up. The Paranoia will hit him, but he'll get no one way. hit, and Killu's there for the second. But Tavik and Drex are coming in from ropes. They'll find three, and now V-Boy, he has to clean it all up by himself. Won't get stunned up by the fault line, but he's chasing a dream as OG, they run over towards heaven. But and they NRK to take still out. has yeah. control. They do have to take out NRK to get here, but they are checking every corner. Look at this, Tavik. Trading around everyone, he'll play a bit of cat and mouse. And okay, he'll find one, and now there's pressure coming in from heaven. He'll find another one. Trex, he has the showstopper available. It's the raise v raise, and the showstopper is out. But he hits it on the wrong side, and V-Boy, he'll find the headshot to make it 10-7. Certain death. Onko, he had a little bit of a... A little bit of a smooch with the players, but OG, they're making the most of this round. They found so many picks, and look at this. Just the eco buy has absolutely come up massive for them. Crate, he's gonna find one pick, try and... They lost the Phantom. Yeah, get it back, they did. Oh, oh, Trex, you might wanna move the other way. Oh, Crate will spray down DPS pedestrians there for the trade. The other angle. They know where Killu is now. And they can push in on that, the fault line's gonna hit him up. He'll throw down a smoke to make sure he doesn't die immediately, but nobody's there. Let's see, what can OG do about this? Oh, Killu, he's good for the first kill, and he'll get away with his life. He has a blade storm available for next round as well. Thrifty. Well, I feel like I'm repeat. Uh, Cage comes up just in time to stop him. Oh, that penguin is gonna. Oh, telegraph B boy's location, but he finds a pick anyway. Oh, stunned up, but still has to. Oh! <laughs> no, he's stunned up and he backs up into the boom bot there. Unfortunate. And Trex will find a second as well. Wow. Oh, you, you can't res inside the wall. He would just suffocate immediately. He's going to break the wall to try and get their res off. But you know somebody's watching that down. Crate is watching that. He oh, you got smoked out! Oh, it's a good smoke. It's he's, like, he's, oh my god. Okay, they get the plant. He bold. is safe. And only one player is in... Uh, in uh, no. Uh, whatever. He cannot play. <laughs> oh! <laughs> Kalo goes in with the kill. <laughs> oh, no! Oh! Trex comes in from behind and everything's going on at once. Distrian will find Lowen to finish it out. Really awkward. If they lose any of those guns, this gives Hughes a huge advantage. But Anko goes first. No, Anko... I thought he was going to actually was close. just turn around the corner with his knife out. But he'll find three. Three headshots. One from the spray, two nice taps. V-Boy, he's the last player alive, and oh my god! Hey, this is very awkward. How did he plan it? seconds left. Oh, Killu! What Takes a beautiful his time shot. With that one. Yeah, nicely done. Could have got hit by the aftershock if he waited a little too long, but he's not going to. OG, in the meantime, they have taken control of B. Killu's gonna have to fight that one back. Tvik, he'll take out NRK. Killu dashing over the uh, doorway, make sure he doesn't get shot in the foot. We he's have been blessed by the green so. wall. No, no, never mind. Ah, it's gone. <laughs> Great, he's gonna push up into heaven, find the first one to Anko after that flash. Oh, but a headshot onto him is gonna put him down to low XP and DPS will finish it off. He'll find the second. And now V-Boy, he pushes onto site, but Tavik is there for that one. And the third, onto Kilo. 11-10, OG. Some Tavik over at A. Well, that was the first blood for MTP. Huge opening play. Ooh. Ouch. Now three players are running towards the corpse of their friend Tavik, who was over at A. And they're going to have to retake, well, not retake, sorry, they'll, they'll have to take the site against a bloodthirsty Lowen. Let's see, will they find the first pick here? Looking for it? Oh, yeah, one tap clean to the head of GPS. Takes it down to a 2v5. I don't know the last of the players are there, but they saw the spike for sure. Trix is going to jump up over into heaven. I'm not sure he, they know he's that close, and he'll find two. Foo, two, but that one, great. He's the first one left. to try and clean up the mess that is left there. There's the Rolling the Thunder he still. Has the spike. Oof. He has his Rolling Thunder available, but now the opposition, they're split up. Two over towards heaven and one right next to him in elbow. And he's looking just... Hey. Play the retake. Do they have yeah. anything to counter that? Well, the Rolling Thunder can push out the Killjoy from that position. No! Oh, There's oh, even no Rolling Thunder! You could just kill the Killjoy before she puts her lockdown out. Great, he'll take down Unko, but now it's a 4v4 and they have much less options retaking this one. DPS, he'll take out V-Boy, and now it's a 4v3. Oh no. Tvik will find the kill on the Killu, but they're all flashed and the spray down will find two more of them. It's only Trex. He's pushing in against that cosmic divide. He doesn't, doesn't know about the fuse. Doesn't hear it. No, he'll have to push in. He's not going to have anywhere near enough time. Well. And because of that, they essentially lost the round as well. Interesting choice. Yeah.
MTP, they're on the attack first. They're going to head through mid. Trex, he's wading up in ropes here. In an awkward position. I think Killu sees his shoulder there. Yeah, the tag goes out, but he's fine with the first pick. Ah, oh, can't quite get away. Trex, he's had trouble with those sexuals. And getting flashed up there did not help him out. That's a 4v4 now. MTP, they haven't gained a significant advantage, but they've got map control over it mid. Look at this flank coming through from uh, Unko. Well, no, not a flank. They are just checking out if they're heading towards B. They're not, so I think they're going to start bolstering their defense over towards A. Let's see. Tabik, he'll be first contact. Sees them, but that's a difficult location to be stuck in. Let's see. He doesn't find the pick. No, no shot to land whatsoever. DPS, he's going to have to clean them up for him. That's one. He turns back around. That was oof, oof, oof. dangerous, but he'll heal himself back up. 3v3, and the spike goes down. Going to three dual boom for the retake. Three players all from CT. Oh, Two no. players oh. stunned. And what a big double kill. And Crate wow. finishes it. And 200 oh, milliseconds no, no, no. is enough for like an a uh, average reaction time, right? So typically something that was your reaction time now is cut off. So you, it makes a huge difference to dodge it. So it's beautifully played by by MTP here. SFV boy has got up here as well as Lauren. <laughs> Dude, Twick almost please died on the ropes, man. Please, Twick. What please is going on? This. He's going up on it. Hey, he's saved by Destrian this time. Destrian, a little more... I, I don't know, maybe he's just he just knows how to play those ropes a little bit better. <laughs> he finds a kill for him. Well, well, that's a free pick at the very least. NRK trying to hold down B. Trex will keep him away and pick up that orb. Well, he's two away from that showstopper now. Oh, engagement's gonna happen here as Crate turns around the corner. He'll find Trex. No more showstopper available. Out comes the Tremor. The blind. That'll find DPS if he turns back round. He doesn't. Oh, and DPS will take advantage of him going back towards heaven. He won't find NRK though. That's one pick for them. And the spray through the smoke isn't gonna find Destrian. Destrian will take advantage of that. No! What's going on? He'll find it in the end. But oh, Tavik comes through in heaven. It's a 1v1 now. Killu, he's got the operator. He's already found Destrian. Now it's back to this area. Oh, not quite gonna find the shoulder of Tavik. Tavik definitely an advantage here. He has armor. Oh, he what? has a rifle. No way that does not. No! Oh, what? Defenders win. Over as NRK tries to take some position. Tavik, he'll find the first pick, and Destrian, he pushes towards bottom mid to find Lowen. The rest of the players, they're moving over to tunnel. Get into B. They're going to meet the full force of OG. Destrian, I'm not sure he saw one, but Tavik, he takes out V Boy, and Killu's coming in. From behind, can he get the low? Can he, he get, can get two? Let's see. Oh no, they turn around. Oh, and he takes a few shots to kill. Oh my god, he's finding headshot after headshot for DPS. will finish it out in the end. Eco, if they lose this one, or. Destrian makes first engagement, but he's not gonna be killed. Trex comes in from the other side, though. They were too busy trying to kill Destrian. Here we Destrian. go. There we go, that's a good use of Yoro to find a way in on the flank and just get that first kill. Well, it wasn't really a flank, but take advantage of those players and Destrian off the back of his... Let's see. Will Tavik find the shot first? Yes, he will. Uh-oh. Not the second time this game, but... There it goes. Now I can start some positions. Trex is going to be coming in from behind. And they got two angles to deal with at this point. At least you got five players. Destrian just... Wow. That's an angle right there. He finds one shot. To the head and nrk he has to hold down this position by himself now he's also been tagged up to vic he's coming in with the operator look how aggressive that is that is confidence if i have ever seen it now i know okay he's stuck in this little gap here v-boy will take out to vic make it a little more difficult but Destrian, he's big with the second onto v-boy and okay he's just getting pushed down he's been flashed out but there's not much time left on the clock and it's only Destrian left he's gonna have to run away and the first round goes to, well, the first round that does go MTP's way, MTP, but they're going to move in towards A now. Here we go. And they break for Recon Dart, they move in. Oh, this time DPS won't find the first pick. NRK is also going to find Vic and a second on the Trex. Destrian, he's the first one to find a pick on the side of OG in this late game part of the round. And V-Boy uh, will take advantage of that. B, but VB boy has a huge look. Oh, Insane opening for mm. MTP. Oh, Trex, so he's just going to shoot straight past the Seekers, find the first pick. Unko's another onto Lowen. B Boy coming through from mid. He'll find that pick. And while Trex is, uh, sorry, while Tavik is, uh, has his attention divided, he's going to get taken out from CT there or from main. 
Now Descuant is the last player alive and oh, oh no, he's not the last player alive. Sorry, wow. The heat is getting to me. Descuant is going to get taken out from below by Kilo. Okay, he's got one pick. Oh my god. Themselves. That's why the uh, timeout came out. Now Destrian. Oh, Shrek just push up mid once again and he'll find that first pick to Vic. Oh my god. Kill him. Oh, oh my god. By to Vic and he's there with a the second headshot as well onto Crate. Give, give, give. And he finds the corpse that he was looking for. NRK, he's flanking, but Trex is alerted to you know, that shot taking out the trap wire. We'll fake his movement over there. Well, things have turned sour quite quickly for MTP in this round. They're both on different sides of the map. DPS, he's just run into Lowen. Now they have control. Mm. The Viper Pit on B will almost ensure, especially with that one trap, that no one goes through that B. And now the entirety of other sides can be reinforced. Lowen dying is a huge opening for for the Yoru because now he, he is able to lurk. Oh, wow. Vic is going to be the first contact here. He'll just spray down the MTP players and Kilu trying to get away from that area after getting out to the map. We've got two from behind. They know that people are coming from behind. You can see those carefuls, those warning signs. DPS, he's already found a V-Boy, though. At this point, Unko has joined DPS. They're waiting for a push from both angles. They know how OG play this one. And Destrian, he's going to come in from this side whilst Trex comes in from window. First pick there. Crate will find the trade. But DPS has already taken down Crate. Killu with the knives onto DPS. Unko gets a trade for that one. Lone stuck in the corner and he's shocked up. Oh, this is not going to be good. Unko jumps over the wall. With a full buy. Killu though with the... Oh, nice. Oh, DPS will find two, though. Well, we have the trace here. What happened? Well, back to evens. I mean, V-Boy was ready for it. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, DPS, no. no. Oh, knife, knife, Don't knife. Do oh, he... no. Oh, oh. Beautiful. <laughs> he checked the angle if someone yeah. is already in front of the, uh, in front of the player. Very smart. Good. Very smart. Yeah. Oh. oh, but he's not ready for Trex. He'll take that down. NRK. Finds Vic. Oh, and Trex will just be tapped down by Crate to, to protect against this retake. Destrian, he's already right next to them. A shock dart will do a little bit of damage, but Lowen's found DPS in the meantime. Unko the snake bite with two. Uh oh. V Boy, he takes out Trex, and Killer will get the trade onto Unko. V Boy walks into the barrel of Destrian, and it's all up to, to Vic now in a 1v3. Trying to spray down the first. The res is there now. And he's just, well, trying to get away. Oh, well, my God. Good spray one. down Lowen and V Boy. Uh oh. That was unfortunate, but uh, not much time left in this round and end. Trek still stays in, stays in the holes. Now he teleports to cave. Interesting. That was actually very nice. Twee, you here? I think you got disconnected. Anyway. Oh, no, sorry. I was muted on Discord. That was my fault. <laughs> no worries. <laughs> Somehow, oh, MTP wow. gets three, three kills when I wasn't watching. What? Oh, man. DPS will find one back. It's 2v3 now. DPS trying to hold down the site. Uh-oh. Ah, Crate's playing. Dodge the bullet. Oh, nice. Opening the door, and he'll move to a new position. Killer was ready for that, though. And they'll just get sprayed down, and no headshots are found. DP just tries to take it by force by pushing Cave. <laughs> Mini Valorant, they're all just playing down one choke point. Trex will take out NRK on the other side of the map. Oh, DPS not landing shots. Crate will take advantage of that. And Unko gets taken out from V-Boy. A push that went wrong. Trex is taken down after teleporting by Crate. V-Boy with a second onto design choices. We do love game designers who think about their choices. Killer, he'll take down Unko over in Tube there. Deskin going to have to hold it down by himself from now. NRK on the other side of the map onto Tavik. Killu takes his second in tube onto Destrian. Now Trex, he's coming over through to B. Fake footsteps. The flash, he's not going to find a shot onto NRK though, but he does teleport across to the other side. I think NRK is ready for this though, and he'll spray him down along with some help. DPS is going to look for one pick to finish out. Oh, there you go. Immediately the spray downs through all of the smokes and the cages will do a lot of damage to the OG side. Look at that. NRK, he finds the first pick onto DPS. It's looking a bit dire now. Low and onto an Unco there. And the spray oh down will find God. two from V-Boy. It's just Trex alive in a 1v5. He'll find one, but NRK is there for the trade. It has such a small range. No way that they just want to push through it. That is absolute insanity. Is. Absolute insanity. NRK. 
He'll put the snake bite down and that cuts off half of the team and he comes around the corner, finds one pick, the second onto Tobik and the third onto Unko. Trex finally stops it, but Lowen has taken out DPS in the meantime and it's all up to Trex to stop them from getting to max point. He sprays down Lowen, the B-Voy is there with the trade. Possible chance, now they have to play the odd buy with two rifles. Oh. Tavik is already taken down by NRK. Trix has got in towards the back of the site using the dimensional drift, but V-Boy, he's sprayed down two onto DPS and Destrian. Unko finds a trade, and Trix is there onto NRK as well. Unko takes down Crate, and they're actually looking to bring it back. The knives, they're gonna hit one onto Trex. He's on the corner, Killu! There it is! 